Hello again from Arctic Norway. Uh, I'm on a peninsula on the western side of the Tana Fjord. Uh, this is pretty much as far north as you can get in Europe and in Norway. And I'm planning to head out on this peninsula, which doesn't have any uh, info or intel that I could use. So I've just made a route uh, on my map. Uh, hopefully it's gonna take me out along the fjords so I can look out over the ocean and all these arctic cliffs diving into the ocean. There's a lot of different weather on the forecast. Today is very windy but it's pretty warm. It's probably around um, 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, pretty comfortable. I got the wind in my back today so that's nice. Tomorrow it's gonna be a big thunderstorm with uh, 23 uh, meters a second winds. Um, it's gonna rain a lot, so that could be challenging. I'm gonna need to find shelter for that. Very excited for this area. I've been seeing some of these cliffs from way out in the distance and it looks amazing. So the camping should be absolutely fantastic if everything pans out. All right. Let's go!
Out here is the stuff that I wanted to see. Those mountains on the other side of Tarnafjorn, the Tarnafjord, being lit up there. Here to the left now is the mountain I've been walking towards the whole day. It was kind of the goal to get to where I'm at now. to cross this here. It's like a good shallow spot here. Put on my crocs. Here is some kind of swell. Pretty cool. Beautiful, peaceful campsite here, right by the creek, underneath these awesome mountains. Here's the mountain that I was looking at when I started. Now I'm a few miles past it.
Good morning. It's uh, nine o'clock. Uh, the sun has just appeared and it is 22 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this should be a really warm day before the thunderstorm comes in. There's some heavy thunderstorms on the forecast for uh, the afternoon. Uh, hopefully I'll get uh, a forecast when I get a bit higher up to see what time it's gonna come in so I can set up my tent in good time. But it's gonna be a warm day, that's for sure, up here in the Arctic. Today I'm gonna head um, over closer to the ocean and the fjord and have a look out over these amazing cliffs on the other side of this fjord up here. This is uh, kind of what I've been looking forward to. If I can find the route, it uh, looks good on the map, but you never know about those contour lines on the map if they uh, hide a big drop off that's just smaller than the contour lines. Anyway, I have a feeling it's going to be a great day. It's beautiful out here, and not a soul in sight, just thousands of reindeer.
from camp preparing for the big thunderstorm that's coming in in an hour right beneath these awesome cliffs I haven't really seen red cliffs like this in Norway before
pretty intense. I'm glad I brought this tent. Not my lighter one. insane. Wow.
that's intense. Wow. That was close. That was kind of scary. Felt like it was going off right on top of me here.
2 in the morning and this storm is just relentless. I haven't had any sleep yet and uh, my Hilleberg solo tent is leaking in the vent. That's such a huge disappointment for a tent that's supposed to be one of the strongest tents to have in a storm. <coughs> this is pure misery and it actually gets wet inside here. I had to close everything down and it still gets wet into my sleeping bag. This is by far the worst storm I've ever been in. Just won't let me sleep. Keeps hitting every time it stops for a few minutes it just keeps at it again. Doesn't really feel safe at all. Now the wind has calmed down slightly but uh, on the forecast it says it's gonna pick up a lot later in the morning. It's definitely way stronger than it said on the forecast. Four o'clock now, 4.30 in the morning. Still no sleep. The wind has been picking up again.
Hello, good morning. It's uh, 8.30. That was a really miserable night. Probably the most miserable one I've had in a tent that I can remember. So the rain finally died down, but it's still really windy. And I was able to pull a weather forecast. And the good weather that was gonna come today and tomorrow and for four or five days forward has totally disappeared. Now the weather is gonna be super windy, it's gonna be close to freezing temperatures and it's gonna be foggy and misty. So I have today and probably a little bit of tomorrow before the rain starts again. So I'm actually gonna start backtracking and heading back uh, in the direction from which I came. Um, I've come about 30 or 35 kilometers in and I was planning to go 40 kilometers further but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna start heading back and uh, I should be back to my car in one or two days. Probably two days. I don't think I can do 35 kilometers in uh, this off-trail terrain here. Alright, so the wind is probably drying out the tent on the outside a little bit, which is good. But uh, it's gonna be uncomfortable walking in all this wind. But I'll get my breakfast going and pack up my camp. I'm glad the tent is strong, although it is leaky. It caused me some misery during the night, the leaks. started raining again. Of course there's uh, no rain on the forecast at all today. This is kind of typical for this trip. I guess you all enjoy some rain camping though.
pretty miserable stuff today. But it might clear up later. I can see some blue spots around me. I guess I just have to get out of these the shadow of these mountains that kind of force the rain, force the clouds up and makes it rain.